everyone i just received these new um napa leather auto cover car seats and i'm really excited to put them in my car get them installed and see how they look and feel so i'm going to open up the box and take a look at them and then install them into my car and we'll see how they look Okay, so I got all the car seats unpacked and laid out. I just wanted to show you there is a quick installation guide and manual. It kind of shows you how to use um, the different hooks that came with the car seats right here. These are different hooks. And um, they also have something called a chuck, which is this plastic piece, which I'm gonna show you how to do and how to install. But there's nice um, pictures that will show you exactly how to use this and how to connect it to your car seats and your car so that it fits really, really well. Um, and there is also the rear seat, so we're gonna be doing the rear and the front seats. This works for um, a seat in the back that's like a bench seat, so it's gonna really connect well and um, should be pretty easy to install. So these car seats, as you can see, are really deep cushioning. They have um, a really, really nice soft design. This is gonna actually add padding to your seats as well as make them look really nice. Um, with this Napa leather, they have this really smooth feel, but you can see that also on this seat back, it does have all these holes, so it is very breathable as well. You don't have to worry about it being too hot. On the reverse side, they do have this non-stick, um, non-slip, I mean, finish right here so that you don't have to worry about it sliding around. The backs are completely non-slip, so it's going to stay in place. Also with all these hooks and loops that we're gonna install, it's gonna really connect to your car seats really well so they're not sliding around um, looking sloppy. They're gonna look really, really sleek and nice. Um, this is the front seat right here, and this is the other front seat, so it has that nice logo. Again, this really thick, deep cushioning that's gonna go on it. They also have the headrests right here for the front, and then these are going to be on the back um, car seat. So it's gonna go along the back bucket seat right here. So here are those back seats, and these are the front seats. All really nice, um, really thick, really plush and durable. Can't wait to put it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. So here is just a picture of my car seats before. They were leather also. I do love that leather look, but as you can see, they've gotten really worn over the years. So it definitely needs um, something to make my car look a little bit fresher and cleaner and nicer. You can see all the cracked leather right there. Um, it's just totally a mess. So hopefully these car seats will fit right over and cover up all the damage that has happened over the years from sun and um, just from general wear. So I'm going to start by putting the front cover over. Um, this is going to cover the back part of the seat, so you just unsnap it to begin. And then you're going to slide it right over the top of the headrest. So once it's unsnapped, it does have elastics on the side, so a rubber band, so it is going to stretch, so it's not very hard at all. You just slide it right over, pop the headrest through, and then tuck the sides into place. Once the sides are all in place, you're just gonna button the snaps back up to secure the top, and those just go right under the headrest. The snaps, there's four snaps, two on each side, and then two in between the middle of the headrest. The next part is to add these chuck pieces, and these are going to go on any elastic that you see. So if you see an elastic, there's a good chance that you have one of these chucks, and this is gonna slide in between the 
top part of your seat and the bottom part. So once it slides in, the chuck is actually going to turn and make it unable for the elastic to move. So that's gonna help you keep that seat in place and keep all the covers nice and tight. So you wanna push it in really, really good and it'll flip around inside the seat in between and um, get really stuck there and get your car seats nice and tight. Next comes the headrest. This part is very, very easy. It just slides right on top and then it has a piece of Velcro that's going to adjust so you can Velcro it nice and tight on your seat. Doesn't matter what kind of car you have or what size headrest, this is going to fit really easily and stay in place simply. Next comes the bottom part of the seat. So you're going to attach it to the top part. So the top car seat cover snaps onto the bottom and then you're going to use these hooks to connect it to the bottom. So you see that piece of um, elastic again, you're gonna add that to the hook and it's just gonna hook on under your seat and that is going to make sure that the bottom part doesn't slip on and off. So just like the top, it's completely secured and look how amazing it looks. Looks so much better than my old leather car seat. This looks amazing. It feels really nice, it's cushioned, it's breathable and it almost makes my car look completely brand new. I also wanted to show you how it looks from the back. The back has totally smooth Napa leather and it does have this nice convenient pocket. So you can store things inside the pocket or anyone sitting in the back seat will be able to use it as well. But um, it has that nice sleek look in the back and the great cushion in the front. All right, now we're onto the back seat. So I kind of lined up everything just to show you how it's gonna go. There's the hooks that are gonna connect to the headrest. Here is the back seat cushion, again, just lined up. These are going to have those chucks go on them again and get shoved in between the crack and the two seats to keep that in place. And this bottom part, if you are able to take the bottom seat out of your back seat, if you can take that bench out, then you can buckle and easily buckle them together to really attach that well. So I'm just gonna use the chucks and the hooks because my back seat doesn't come out. Um, it is a smaller car, but a lot of them will. And then you're gonna wanna use those um, buckles and snaps to really attach the bottom cushion and get it nice and tight. I am going to just push these chucks in as much as I can and it's gonna work great as well. Um, you don't have to worry if you can't take your bottom seat out, it will completely connect and look amazing. So I just wanted to show a little bit more detail about how to really tighten um, the bottom car seat covers for your back bench seat. Again, if you can take it off, that is the best solution. So you can use these clips to wrap completely around the bench seat. So you're gonna clip both of them together all the way around the back of the bench seat. Um, I am going to stick mine in, and as you saw before, I used those chucks to really get the seats tight, and with the chucks, you can really get them tight and they're not gonna move at all. If you can use these clips to wrap around, then that's even better and it'll really make sure they don't move. So here, I have not finished yet, but I just wanted to show you that it does have the seat belt go over. You can get those seat belts um, connected through. It's looking really, really nice. It's already connecting and going right on top of my car seat. This is a small back seat and it doesn't even matter because this middle piece right here is totally adjustable and the whole thing is velcro so you can really make it as wide or as skinny as needed um, if you have a narrow back seat like I do then the two side covers are just going to overlap that middle one more but if you have a wider back seat it's plenty big enough um, and it matches this front one really really nicely the whole thing makes my car look brand new it really just revamped that leather um, and I'm really excited. I would definitely recommend these. They were pretty easy to install and they look amazing.